the layoffs are still around. Check out this. Qualcomm is laying off 1,200 people. They are a semiconductor manufacturer. And look, they're laying off people. And guys, I just made a video about this. We need to anticipate more layoffs in the near future. Yes, companies are hiring more. We're seeing some of these companies rehiring people that they laid off. But it definitely doesn't mean that the market has recovered. There was a jobs report that came out recently saying that a ton of new jobs were added. But when you break down the data, most of those jobs were people adding part-time jobs and getting other jobs along with their full-time job. The actual amount of white-collar jobs that were added was only around 20,000. This is not good news. And guys, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying this because you need to adjust your expectations. We're going to be coming up to the holiday period. And my guess now looking at this news is more companies are probably going to lay off before the holiday period. So if you're on a job search, this means you need to be looking at your resume. If you're not getting people call you back from your resume, that's a major issue. I've got some resources that you can see on my link tree that can help you with this, but you need to make sure your resume is on point. You need to make sure your LinkedIn is on point and you can't turn down the octane on applying to jobs. You need to be applying to lots of jobs, networking, reaching out to people. I'm anticipating that things will start to recover next year, Q1, Q2, companies will start to hire again, but we're not really going to look at a recovery until 2025 at this point. I know this isn't popular, I know it isn't one what you want to hear, but you need to know what you're up again and you need to adjust your expectations. The layoffs are still going on.